All right. A series parallel circuit is a circuit which contains resistors. Well, I'm just using the word resistors as a general thing. Uh, in series, and some of the resistors are connected in parallel. Series is like, right, a circle. I think we said that. And, 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 a, and a parallel circuit was kind of like, like a river splitting between two points. It's, you know, it's a branch of multiple sections. The portion of a circuit that includes resistors and series have to comply with the series resistor circuit rules. The portion of the circuit that's in parallel has to comply with the parallel circuit rules. So let's go on further. Here we go. Watch this. Now, this is alternating current, and we talked about those electrons, Eric, are moving about how far back and forth, alternating current? Well, it takes about a, um, over an hour and a half to move one foot in copper. So therefore, it's pretty small that it's moving to the right? Okay, so to the right, it goes across about 10,000 atomic diameters or 10th to 20th of a human hair. Okay. So, my point, why did you bring this up, Mike? Well, because if you look at my graphic, I'm showing an arrow going in this direction, and it's not going in, but it's only going in that direction for one half of the alternate current waveform, and then it's going in the other direction. So, I just want you to know, if this was a DC power supply, well, then it would continuously go in one direction. So, just talking about, for this instant in time, we're showing it, watch this. Electrons are traveling to R3, they're traveling to R4, and travel with the R5, and that is a series circuit. And then we have the rules of series circuits. Let me see if I remember this. You said it was a voltage divider, right. Eric, right? Which means that, okay, we're going to divide voltage along here, here, and here. So that's a voltage divider. We know that in series circuits, current remains the same. Okay, current remains the same. It's a voltage divider. And resistance is, oh, the resistance total of these are going to be additive. R1, R2, R3. So that is the series portion. Now watch this. This resistor R2 is in parallel well, with resistor R4. Well, but actually it's R, we should, let's highlight, well, huh, how do I say this? How do I do this? It's in parallel with the series sum. It's in yes. parallel with yes. the series sum of three, four, four and five. five. So Brian, I guess we should maybe shade this, this arrow like this here. Three, four, and five, and I, right? Four, five, and six. And we need a resist. Oh, I see what we did here. Uh, we see we, we moved the resistance out of here. We moved the resistance out of here. So somehow, maybe we can show this, demonstrate a little bit differently. Okay. And we'll, we'll see it in a few minutes. Okay. The total resistance of a series uh, circuit is equal to the sum of the resistors. So go over here. If R1 is, okay, uh, let's add some resistance values here, Mario, Brian. Okay. okay. And I think the values I would have added, well, can't really say that, but the resistance total is R1. I should have the formula here also. Resistance total is equal to R1, R2, and R3 in this particular example. That's series circuits. Resistance is additive. Should add some values there. Parallel circuit resistance. The total resistance of a parallel circuit is calculated one of three methods. We had the equal resistance method, which is fine if they're all the same value. Um, I need to put a value here at R1 and a value for R2. Um, so if they're both the same value, well then, well we can't put a value because we're trying to show a method. If they're both the same value, well then you take the resistance of the one resistor divided by the number of units. Product over the sum, sum. And Brian, you don't like the product over the sum because it's like, uh, I don't like that stuff. But, and then we went over to the reciprocal method and I kind of like the product over the sum, but Brian, you, you taught me how to do the reciprocal method using the proper calculator. Well, I'm definitely going into the reciprocal method. I'm not going to waste my time with, okay, equal resistance method, I'll do that if they're all the same thing. I got that. Other than that, we're going over the product of, um, with the reciprocal method. So for that portion of the circuit, that's going to be in parallel. And I'm not sure, Brian, if we want to show these resistors on the wires. We'll have to talk about that later on.